The intriguing revelation of the city of Uruk inside the Euphrates River was just the beginning, for within its historical texture lies an untold story waiting to be unraveled. The city of Uruk was once ruled by a king named Gilgamesh. It is believed that Gilgamesh was not a mere human, but one of the mixed offsprings of the fallen angels in the time of Noah. Gilgamesh was believed to be a Nephilim. The story of Gilgamesh was found in 1849 in the northern part of Iraq where Nineveh once stood. Archaeologists were trying to find proof of the biblical story, but they found clay tablets believed to be at least 4,000 years old, and they were called the Epic of Gilgamesh. The story starts with a king named Gilgamesh who ruled over a city of Uruk. Gilgamesh was an exemplary creature, taller and stronger than all other people. It was commonly thought that Gilgamesh possessed a special nature, being born as a blend of both divine and human essence, like a demigod. Even though Gilgamesh was a demigod and have a longer lifespan, he was not immortal. Having unmatched strength that rendered him invincible, Gilgamesh assumed the role of an arrogant king, misusing his power without restraint. He also demanded people to make idols of him and worship him as a god. He also had the ability to seduce any women even if they're married, and used to sleep with them. Over time, the people of Uruk began to strongly dislike their king and earnestly prayed to their gods for help, hoping to be freed from the terrifying rule of Gilgamesh. One of the gods, named Anu, sympathized with the people of Uruk. Feeling sorry for them, Anu commanded a deity called Aruru to make a being with a strength equal to that of Gilgamesh as a challenge to the king. Aruru made a being, a hybrid of man and animal, named Enkidu. The Book of Enoch mentions a group called the Watchers who went against God by manipulating genetics. The creation of Enkidu is considered to be another example of such actions. Enkidu was a unique being who was part human and part animal. He had horns on his head and spent his days living with the animals. He ate grass and stayed along the side of the lions, becoming their guardian in the wild. While Gilgamesh learned about Enkidu, he devised a plan to deceive him and diminish his strength. To achieve this, Gilgamesh aimed to strip away Enduku's innocence, so he sent one of the most beautiful women to tempt him to losing his purity. Enduku fell in love with the woman, and she taught him about the customs and behavior of the people. As a result, he became more civilized and chose to live among men. The woman informed Enduku about Gilgamesh and how he takes women away just before their weddings to sleep with them. One day, there was a grand wedding scheduled in the city of Uruk. As usual, Gilgamesh attempted to disrupt the wedding by taking the bride away to spend the night with her. However, before he could do so, Enkidu intervened and a fierce battle followed. The fight lasted seven long days, causing damage to the city in the process. Each powerful blow from both Gilgamesh and Enkidu had the strength to kill five men, but neither of them were willing to give up. In the end, Gilgamesh narrowly emerged as the victor, claiming the upper hand in the battle. After the battle, despite of hating each other, they admired each other's strengths and became close friends. After meeting Enkidu, Gilgamesh stopped torturing his people and decided to become a faithful king. They had many adventures together, fought many battles side by side. They had become like brothers. But one day, Gilgamesh realized that they were getting old and they both will have to face death, so he went in search of immortality. On their journey to find immortality, they had to encounter a being feared by even the gods, Humbaba. They managed to kill Humbaba but he cursed both of them that one of them would die for what they had done. The death of Humbaba made the gods angry. Despite going through all this, they did not find the key to immortality. Both Gilgamesh and Enkudu decided to go back to Uruk and celebrate the death of Humbaba. At the celebration, there was an uninvited guest. Ishtar, the goddess of love and war, was impressed by the strength of Gilgamesh and decided to seduce him, making him her lover. But Gilgamesh refused to fall for Ishtar because he knew that all of her lovers died terrible death. Ishtar became angry and sent down the Beast of Heaven to kill both Gilgamesh and Enkidu. The Beast, coming down from heaven, bringing seven years of famine and natural disasters like hurricane and earthquake. There was a great battle and the battle between the Great Beast and the two demigods shook the whole Mesopotamia. 
Using the same weapon they used to kill the demigod Humbaba, they managed to kill the beast. This further angered the gods, so the gods decided to kill Enkidu, Enkidu died of a mysterious disease. After the death of Enkidu, Gilgamesh resumed his search for immortality. That is when he met a man named Utnaishtim. Utnaishtim is believed to be the man who was instructed by God to create a boat of life to preserve life and save them from the great flood. He is the biblical version Noah, but he informed Gilgamesh that he could not grant him immortality, but only the gods can. So Gilgamesh gave up his search and accepted his death. It is believed that he died in Uruk, which was covered by the great Euphrates River for over 3,400 years until its recent discovery after it drying up. So that is all about the video. Don't forget to like my video and feel free to share this with your friends. If you are new to the channel, subscribe for more content like this.